up, buddy nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the Elusive Samurai chapter 174. But before we get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And now we ain't sponsored by Shueisha. And we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little Bubba Kitty who's somewhere around here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we could keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, Feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below, as well as the link to our Patreon where we are doing our anime live reactions because unlike YouTube where we constantly have to worry about getting a copyright strike um, for showing anything on the screen, well, Patreon, we don't have to worry about that. So um, we can have our full setup of the anime and manga side by side, as well as have the audio to boot, which is not only um, come in handy for busting a botch localization or two, but in the case of Dragon Ball Daima, we can not only enjoy the sub, but the return of Stephanie Nadolny in the dub. Yeah, it's one of those rare situations, man. I'm part of the Toonami generation. What do you want from me? Um, and the more views and subs we get over there, the more anime we'll cover as well. And if you're a $10 tier subscriber, you get to choose the series we cover to boot. And there's a stat fall anime season on the horizon, so please check out our Patreon, the links in the description box below. So, I am so hyped for this week's chapter because we got the return of Mima, and you know what that means. The rematch between Shizuku and Mima is on. So, does this mean that Shizuku is going to die? I, I, I kind of think she will. And I feel like... in. If Shizuku dies here, I feel like this kind of seals the deal for Fubuki's fate as well. I think Fubuki's going to die too. I was already on the fence on Fubuki dying, but I think he's going to die as well. But anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us uh, this week. How will to uh, Tokyuki confront Mima's divine power? Boatman, can you get near the enemy fleet? Dude's like, you're fucking psycho, man. It, it, nah. Um... It's impossible to steer in this storm. The ships are going to scatter, yet the storm doesn't affect the enemy archers. This must be a god's doing. A terrifying superpower. Oh, my God. Matsui. As happy as I am that people are loving the Elusive Samurai anime. And it's proving my point that it is, in a sense, the next Demon Slayer. It is. It's still not doing your art justice, man. It's not. It, it's not, and it really, really depresses me. You deserve better than this. I really wish you were working on, on that anime. I don't know what the hell happened, if there was a falling out or what. But God, oh, oh your art is so much better. It does. Because Mima looks so beautiful. Oh my God, she looks so gorgeous. And this chapter is titled Warring Gods 1338. Shizuku, if we disrupt Mima and weaken our divine power, will it calm the storm? Yes, but Mima's memories come to... Oh, this panel is gorgeous and so haunting. Uh, Mima's memories come to me on waves of divine power, but whose power is it? Um, let's see. We're going to find out how Mima turned to the dark side. Kitabatake, um, Chikafusa of Ise prepares to sail with the entirety of the southern court's forces. Uh, this is a rare chance to sink all our enemies, but our navy is too weak to defeat them. So that's where I come where I come in? Just like more now, you want my spit. That's so gross. Huh? Your spit? What does he mean? Father, I thought Takuchi Sama needed my power. He does. But sinking such a large fleet requires much more than your power alone. We could kill them all, huh? Yes, from princes and senior vassals down to the youngest of their children. This will free me of all frustration. So I'll give you everything I got. Oh my God, this is so gross. Oh my God, Father, how can you use me like this? 
Oh, Mori Aldono used all our forces merely to destroy Aki's lone army. I, Doya, will use... Oh, he's crying doing this too. Will use my only beloved daughter to destroy all the enemy's armies. Dude, that darkness coming off his face is so creepy. As an unequaled warrior, I shall live... Um... He's happy! It's not, it's not even sad tears! It's happy tears! As an unequal warrior, I shall live my life in luxury! You call yourself a father? Mima, when gam a gambling for rule of the land, it is necessary to betray even those you value the about value most. What a piece of shit! But this is totally disgusting! Oh, this is so gross! This uh, ruler is gross! Even my father has been made repulsive by squabbling for power. I don't understand him anymore. Someone save me! Oh, that's so nasty! Oh, Takuji's power fills her stomach. She's a half-conscious, disposable warrior. Oh, God, this is so beautiful. Oh, my God. Her power is equal to a god's and capable of wrecking a navy 10,000 strong. But she cannot contain such a burden. And it will break her body and mind. Oh, there's the blood coming out of her nails, too. And her finger... This is so gross! Oh my god, this Takuji is so nasty! And her father's a piece of shit, too! Oh my god, this is so nasty! Thank god! Th this is why I thank god that um, this manga is in mainstream. Oh my god, thank god. Thank fucking god. You know when the, when the anime gets to this part of the manga... You know a certain group of people are going to call Matsui a pedo. You know it's true. Oh, my God, you know it's true. Oh, my God, you know it. You know it's fucking true. Got it. Um, I, I won't let that happen. I wait, got it. I won't let that happen. By the way, for those of you um, that don't know if it's true or not, you know how I know it's true? I called this shit when, um, uh, with the, uh, Lancelot confession. When Jericho confessed about, uh, confessed to Lancelot, motherfuckers went in on Nakaba. Even mofos, even tourists that d never watched, uh, um, or read, um, the Nazi no Tazai slash Four Nights of the Apocalypse. I knew it was going to happen. And the same thing with Yamato. Knew it was going to happen. Uh, the re uh, in terms of Oda. The rest of you, uh, see to your own safety. Uh, the high waves have scattered our ships. God, this art is so pretty. Uh, but I can use that to my advantage. Woo! Ha, wow! Yes! This art is so pretty! Oh, Mima! We're only 12 years old, but I wonder how, um, how much our fates are connected. Dude! Like, this totally makes Takuji a pedo! Right? No. Takuji just nasty as fuck. Like, part of me's like, I want to call Takuji a pedo for this shit. Because that's so gross. Now, Takuji just nasty as fuck. He doesn't discriminate, man. He just get, he like, just passes out a spit like no tomorrow. So fucking gross. You made a special friend in Kyo, but the hurt you, um... Uh, you and you have borne that pain in your heart. Of, uh, wait, sorry. You have made a you made a special friend in Kyo, but the hurt you and you have borne um, that pain in your heart ever since. I must end this enmity in order for us to make things right. I must return you you to your senses. Oh, he jumps in with uh, the ship's. Uh, wait, he jumps in time with the ship's rocking so he can aim from the uh, stability of midair. Even I can't do that. Gamma. Uh, his experience with Aki's army gave him confidence. He's good at everything but killing. Um, he isn't used to rough seas, but he's uh, the only one of us who can move around them freely. Well, you, the fact, I mean, Tokiyuki could shoot an arrow while riding up, while on horseback, for fuck's sake. He can stand on the fucking horse and do it, for fuck's sake. I mean, whoa, well, I'm not surprised. Impressive, he dodges wind, wave, and arrow, but that is merely a human trick. He cannot dodge the divine. Oh, man. This is so... Like, come the fuck on, Matsui. This is just pure art, man. 
I'm telling you, I've been saying this for a while. Um, we are on the cusp of a third modern manga renaissance. We are. God, I don't... We're so close to it, man. I don't think this is it, though. Silly boy. Oh, this is so gorgeous. No, I can't move. Here comes the killing blow. I must oh, I must break my promise, Nisama, or you and the whole army will sink beneath the waves. <gasps> the time of warring gods has passed, so I will expend my whole being to end this. Oh, my God. Um, we'll use all our power to save her brother and her friends. This is going to be next chapter, man. Oh my God. Next chapter. I swear to God, if we get a fake out, I'm going to be so pissed. Masui, I ex next chapter is going to be magical. If Shizuku is going to die... I expect something, will it be great? Oh God, do I want it to be grander than Aki's? I, I really don't want it to be grander than Aki's death because Aki's my, my husbando. But considering the divinity that we're getting here, and also this is going, I feel like what happens, as I said at the start of this video, what happens here is gonna foreshadow what happens with Fubuki. Think about it, Aki and, um. And uh, Mima's de deaths are foreshadowing what's happened with Fubuki because you have Aki, who was basically like Tokiyuki's brother, right? Big brother. And, you know, Fubuki is uh, Tokiyuki's brother as well, adoptive brother. And he, tra he trained him just like Aki did too, right? Then you have uh, Mima, who is who is a god, a god in her own right, just like Shizuku is. And, and, or, and Mima, just like Fubuki, has been corrupted. And um, both of them are gonna be purified. And, I f and similar, actually, think about it. Similar to uh, what we saw here with the, uh, um, with Shizuku, with uh, uh, with Mima, in this chapter, we kind of saw it. What with the uh, um, Tokiyuki's Toki, Toki fight with Fubuki. So, in a way, it's a little bit different, obviously, with Fubuki. It was more metaphorical, mind you, but still a little similar. So I gotta wonder with this purification that we're getting here. I gotta wonder if this, if uh, um. Because again, just like Fubu, actually, just like Fubuki, who's basically on, was on the verge of death because of uh, um, the corruption that was happening, that's happening in him, was breaking his body, body down because he was uh, he was cold from essentially being hungry. That's what it seemed like. Here, with the corruption from um, uh, Takuji, it said, "I'm going to go back to what was said here." with the, um, about Mima, it said, well, for one thing, it says how much, um, we're only 12 years old, but I wonder how much our fates, uh, are connected. You made a special friend in Kyo, but, uh, he hurt you and he, you have borne that pain in your heart ever since. But like some, uh, but Fubuki, Fubuki is Tokiyuki's friend and there is that connection with Fubuki. They made a special friend. There's that heart um, that, you know, the pain in Fubuki's heart that he's, you know, born ever since. And similar with Fubuki, Tokiyuki's God has to end the enmity in order to make things right. And must, he's got to return Fubuki back to his senses. And then, and it's also this here too, his experience with Aki's army gave him confidence. He's good at everything but killing. This, again, this is foreshadowing what's going to happen with Fubuki. I think Fubuki, I really think Fubuki's going to die. I do. But then, 
There's also what was said earlier as well in the chapter about this. Here we go. Her power is equal to a god's and capable of wrecking a navy 10,000 strong, but she cannot contain such a burden and it will break her body and mind. We saw that with Fubuki that his power was breaking him down too. It was different, obviously, but yeah. Isn't it interesting how uh, Mima and Fubuki's fit? I, that's why I'm like, Mima and Fubuki's fates are connected. They're intertwined. And it seems to me that they're going to die. I think um, they're going to be purified, mind you, but they're going to die. But the question is, will Shizuku die in the pro uh, will Shizuku die here? And will Tokiyuki um Tokiyuki I don't think is going to die when he kills Fubuki. Uh, Fubuki's going to die. I think Fubuki will die will be purified because Remember what, um, what, uh, Yoroshige said, uh, yeah, Yoroshige was saying in regards to saving, uh, Fubuki as well. But yeah, I think, uh, see, I think, I, I, I think that's going to be the case. I think Fubuki, I, obviously, I think Mima, I still, Mima could, technically, Mima could survive and she could, maybe she could be the one to purify, um, Maybe she could be the one to purify uh, um, uh, Fubuki, but I, that's a stretch. But no, I think I think Mima. I think Mima's gonna die, and I think Fubuki's gonna die. Based on based on the writing in this chapter, and also with what happened with Aki, I think I think Fubuki. I think both Fubuki and Mima, as well as Shizuku is going to die. If Shizuku does not die here, she will die um, with uh, when she purifies uh, um, Fubuki. But that one, th but that line though, about Tokiyuki not being able to kill, that's where I'm like, I don't think Shizuku is going to be there. And Shizuku is going, Shizuku is going to die here and Tokiyuki is going to have to kill um, Fubuki. And when he kills Fubuki, it will, like, liberate him. Like, either that, or, like, if, uh, um, in the way of killing Fubuki, it means, like, kill, like in a metaphorical sense, it would be killing the darkness if Fubuki is still alive by the end of this. But, no, nah, I think Fubuki's gonna die. I think, that's what I think. But I'm very curious what you guys think of this chapter. This chapter to me is so pivotal in what's going to happen with Fubuki, in my opinion. I really do. And do you guys think that Shizuku is going to die here as well? I really think Shizuku is going to die here. If it is a fake out, it is what it is. And um, Shizuku will help with the purification process for, um, uh, for Fubuki. But and if Mima survives, I don't I don't know how uh, how I'll feel. I I think I'll be kind of pissed about it. As much as I love Mima, I feel like I honestly feel like um, because of everything, like how everything is intertwined, I feel like it doesn't make sense for her to survive. I feel like her, Shizuku, and Fubuki are gonna die. Everything is. The writing, that's what the writing is dictating to me. I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys, based on the writing in this chapter, do you guys think that um, at least, the very least, Mima and Fubuki are going to die and that Mima is, but in the case of Mima, she's going to be purified by Shizuku and then she will die. And in the case of uh, Fubuki, that uh, Fubuki will be um, Tokiyuki's first kill. Because to me, that would make the most sense. Because obviously, you know, he's going to have to kill Takuji and all that. But to me, killing F Fubuki being his first kill would make the most sense to me. And do you think, Shiz again, do you think Shizuku is going to die as well? 
I don't know how I feel. If, uh, if we get another fake out here with Shizuku, I, I think I'm going to be furious. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Ginseng. Love what we're doing and want to help keep um, this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Lucid Samurai content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.